Hi, I'm Leanne Holsenberg here at STORM with STORM Youth Evolution staff member Abigail Starkey. Hi, I'm Abigail Starkey. I'm from Schaumburg, Illinois, and I've been bowling for close to nine years. So Abby, you bowled a lot of SYCs, but some people have never bowled SYC. What do you think is the most important tip to help someone at SYCs? I think the most important tip is your arsenal. Uh, we bowl on three different patterns with three different blocks. You cannot win it in one block. Um, and just to stay patient and be confident in every shot that you throw. So my favorite benchmark ball is the IQ Tour, and I've had it for 10 years now. And you just got an IQ Tour this past year, right? Yes. And is that your benchmark ball too? Yes, it is my benchmark ball. So how do you define benchmark ball? I would define benchmark ball as something that is consistent and smooth and controllable, something that you can use on all patterns and be able to have the most confidence in. So your IQ Tour is your benchmark ball, so right in the middle, so you have a couple over here to the right and a couple over here, so mm -hmm. stronger and weaker. What is stronger for you in your arsenal than your IQ Tour? Um, I have always felt that my gem is very snappy in the back and I am able to move left and hook the lane with it and that's why it is above my benchmark ball. Okay, what else do you have on that side of your benchmark ball? Um, I also have my exotic gem. Uh, I think it complements the gem very well and if my gem starts to be a little weak on the back, I know I can always go to my exotic gem and it'll be stronger. Okay, so strong side. So mm -hmm. then on the other side of that, when the IQ Tour is too much and you need something longer and maybe more on the mm -hmm. back end, what are those balls for you? Um, I always go to my Wolverine Dark Moss first because I know that it'll get through the fronts and be able to hook a lot in the back. And then if that starts to become a little bit too much, I always go to my Dark Code because I know that it'll go even longer than the Wolverine Dark Moss. Man, you know your equipment. <laughs> All right, so Abby, your six ball arsenal is pretty well thought out and solid. If you were going to bring a new ball into that arsenal, how do you go about that? Um, I go about confidence in the ball and looking at what it's similar to because uh, if I just add a ball in and it's completely different from what my other balls are, it just doesn't make sense to add it. So five balls in your arsenal and you have room for one more, which one is that always gonna be? My spare ball. Spare ball, you don't leave home without it? No. Nope. No. Nope. What would happen if you left home without your spare ball? It would be a rough day. <laughs> it would be a rough day.